least I could lose if the stock goes to zero, $1,000. There's no limit to how much a stock can, can rise. There's a limit to how much it can go down. It can't go below zero. When you short a stock, you're exposed essentially to unlimited risk. And uh, when some individuals on a subreddit and a Discord, you know, the details don't so much matter, caught wind of the fact that you had hedge funds betting on the decline, they started buying up the stock, buying, buying, buying up the, the stock. And as you can see here, there's been uh, significant growth recently. And everybody's getting a hot take on this. AOC had something to say. Ted Cruz had something to say. And on and on and on. Um, and we are going to see what happens in the next 24 hours with this. The Robinhood app stopped allowing one to buy the stock, which bids the price up and only allowed sales of the stock, which is in a sense a market manipulation by Robinhood. So there's all these little side stories to this, but it is a very interesting story, and I have a, quite a segment on it on today's show. Okay, so that's the GameStop story. That's all I'll say for now. I think there are, maybe there are some thoughts on it. Let me see. Matt says, David, I got a new TV and now you look shinier. What skincare routine do you use? I, I really don't have a skincare routine. You've got to moisturize, though. You've got to moisturize. That's it. Um, okay, it doesn't seem that there's anything else here related to GameStop. On board behind Jen Psaki, I like one of the things is LGBTQ+. Second thing I think America for the vaccine should do is they did for Get Out the Vote. I don't know what gamer Batman is talking about, but I really appreciate it. With Biden's order to require the federal fleet to go electric by 2050, the time to buy stocks and companies that would power that transition is now. That is, a, that is an assertion via Super Chat, not my financial advice. Thoughts on the Biden administration's halt on weapons sales to Saudi Arabia. I love it, and I have a segment recorded, so I won't, I won't spend too much time on it today. Thanks to Zachary Egan, who just grabbed a subscription at joinpacman.com. I appreciate that. I really would love it if you signed up at joinpacman.com. I'm talking to you. Yeah, you. Um, we, we are uh, continuing to try to build support in 2021, and I would love it if you joined. And we have this coupon code, BETTER21. Twitch subscriptions also count, and eight of them have come in while we've been chatting. We, I got a bunch of people sending me messages saying, David, are you currently at the highest number of Twitch subs in the history of your Twitch account? I am. Uh, 2544, you can see way up there. We have never had more Twitch subs than we do right now. And that's a very, very exciting thing. Um, could the Reddit GME AMC BB run lead to disproportionate regulation on retail investors and not big institutional investors? Yes. Yes, that is exactly one of the concerns currently. My 79-year-old grandma with lots of underlying conditions got her first shot. Arm was sore for a day but needed no relief for pain. Great to hear that. That's great to hear. And yeah, the number of uh, vaccination centers increasing significantly. I have no voicemails from any haters today, but I do have one from our friend the Eggman, Let's take a listen to it. I haven't pre-screened this. This is a voicemail from our friend. 